Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video what I want to do is take a look at how we can create a view project using the view UI. And uh, I am currently here on the UI doc uh, section here on the cli.view.org for documentation. This is a part of the CLI. You can just go ahead and look through uh, these and see how it works. A uh, lot well, of stuff here, which I'm not really all that interested in, but I just want to show you how you can create uh, the project. Alright, so you just open a terminal window, and all you have to type is view UI, and this should start uh, a UI server that is running, I think, on port uh, 8000 and it will pop up in the browser as soon as it starts. Alright, so the port 8000 is ready. Normally it would pop a uh, browser window, but it seems to not be doing that now. So let me just click on open. Well, it actually did open it, it just took a while. So, let me just close this one. And here we go. So, this is the main uh, page here. We have no projects just yet. We can import a project. Uh, so, we can import a project from wherever we have a project or whatever. Let's say on the desktop here, we can go to projects and then we can go to view projects and then we can just import any one of these uh, projects here totally uh, fine so that we can use and look at the projects you can see it has the view extension some of these but yeah so that's that but we want to create a project so we click on create and uh, I am in I'm still in this uh, uh, directory so I'm gonna create a view project in here so I'm just gonna do click on create then we give the project a name or a folder so I'm gonna just call it uh, view create or whatever project creation I'm gonna go for the project creation and uh, yeah then we can pick the package manager so for instance npm which I normally use and uh, we have some other options like override uh, file if it exists or whatever then we can initialize a git uh, repository so we can add a commit or whatever we want but we're gonna leave that for now and we're gonna click on next then we have uh, 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 other stuff that we can add to these so we have the default preset with Babel and yes uh, link. But we can also click the manual to see the other options. But I'm just gonna go for the the default just to make this uh, install quickly. But you can go ahead if I'm just gonna show you that you can come here and you can add progressive web app router and view it and stuff like that. But uh, we're just gonna go for the default for this one. So it's just gonna start uh, the project creation at this moment. You can see it's installing CLI plugins and all of that. So we'll just wait until this finishes. One other thing, this should actually be showing in the. This should actually be showing in here. So you can actually see it live in here, just the same as when you're creating a project. Normally from here. So yeah, if you want to look at it like that then that's fine, I'll just put it to the side here, if I can get it to work, so just put it to the side here, it's going to fit, and we have both, we have both of them. Okay, so that's finished. The project is pretty much completed. I'm just going to minimize this window here 
and yeah so you can see that now we have our base basic uh, view project created so in look at the plugin so we have uh, CLI service and ESA and bubble as we had installed so you can see they're giving us the options to add router uh, so just and view because those are very important to any uh, view project we, uh, we can add other uh, plugins as well we also have the dependencies here for JS, Vue.js, uh, Vue I should say and Babel and yes and all of that and you can update them well that's the latest it will show the update if it needs to be updated but let's look at uh, how we, we have config tasks but I think I'm gonna look how we can run uh, serve this project so I think we can serve it from here as well so let me just attempt to do that okay so you can see that it's building or compiling so I can now open the app in a different window and you can see that this is the default project here so we have it running on port 8080 and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it this didn't take uh, any long time and this is what I like about this thing here you can you have a very high high level overview of your project you can see uh, stuff like the status errors warning and uh, all of the stuff that are uh, that you will be using I uh, can look at it on 4g 3g speed you can look at it on mobile uh, different stuff speed status uh, look at the assets the dependencies how much they are being used and uh, all stuff like that so you, you, you get a, a very high level overview rather than in uh, the command line uh, which you don't really see anything you probably won't even really look at it that much you can look at the outputs so this is what the command line would actually look like and uh, analyzer as well so you can look at files like these which I think is pretty cool and this is just one thing that I actually like about uh, the view UI even though I think that the view UI may be a little bit uh, uh, less powerful than the command line I prefer the command line always but yeah this is pretty cool and that's how uh, simple it is to uh, create a project with uh, the view UI so that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one